All right, welcome back. Okay, a quick little uh, a quick little recap. We just got our uniform from uh, Moroka. We're gonna head off to sleep, and then uh, yeah. Okay, a little insight. First off, I finally found out who Yukiko is voiced by. It's Amanda Wynn Lee. Now she actually voiced in a. Uh, she is doing. She's actually voiced a gorilla in a uh, Digital Devil Saga, which is another SMT series. And uh, she also voiced Ray in the Evangelion movie, at least. Maybe not the series, but I'm not entirely sure. I never really watched Eva. Okay. Besides that, Morning. I wanted to go over a little bit of the Arcana. But first, let's go ahead and... Did you sleep well? How you doing, Chie? Yep. I was out cold until this morning. My best friend's still lost in the TV world, but I'm okay. Mm. It's okay, Chie. We're gonna save her. Don't worry about it. It's all good, baby. Um, thanks for everything yesterday. I might go a little off of Mr. Fabian Chang, it's CAD kind of FC's uh, guide a little bit. And I'll explain that why you two were right after there we get through, uh, when we get to the gameplay section. And all. Ah, it's all good. Don't sweat it. See? No big deal. You were just worried about your best friend. That's cool. Anybody would have done the same. Day, right? Yeah. So? What was it like? He was a huge baby. Huh? Uh, <laughs> how should I put this? He thought Inaba sucked. That's pretty much his whole deal. I nearly forgot. None of that happened when yours awakened, huh? Oh, look who's changing the subject. Yeah, I'm perfect. You, you're not. You have issues with Inaba. No, it just means I'm awesome. Oh, so nothing happened for you? Well, I mean, an animated cutscene happened I for me. That's something. That you Pretty open guy. There's a funny air about you. It's almost like you don't talk. It's almost well, like you're the avatar character. You or something like that. Again, in the animated in the anime series, uh, falling for me, huh? If you're very like well, upfront. Maybe you are my type. Haha, <laughs> foreshadowing possibly. Give me a break. Dude, I might date all the girls. If you're uh, up front with it, or you say certain stuff like that, you might impress some of the other characters by just how forward you are. Again, you're the third party member. Couldn't really do much without you, Chie. You think you would have learned after the TV incident. Ah, lovable Yosuke. Thanks for saving me. Ah, uh, it's no biggie, Aaron no, Fitzgerald. You're super cool. All, but... He's kind of a nerd. There is something different about you. I feel like you won't let me down. Because if you die, it's game over. <laughs> I guess that's one way. Because, I mean, if your character dies, then nobody else has the heart to move on. And with that, the chariot social link is established. Speaking of the Arcanas... I actually have a bit of information regarding most of the Arcanas. Right here. I actually have a few wiki pages opened up. The Chariot Arcana was actually in uh, Persona 3. It was represented by Aegis, as I said before. And also, while there was no character for Persona 2, the best friend character in uh, Persona 1, Masao Inaba, whose ultimate persona was Susanoo, which actually has a bit of significance in uh, this game, he was the best friend character in that game. And, uh, let's see. Oh, ask her straight out. You have to have a certain amount of courage in order to pull that off. Because it sounds really right. forward, like you're asking her on a date. From now on, huh? okay, then. Chariot Arcanas generally excel in physical, uh... You know. At night. They excel in physical attacks. And they're also kind of a little speedy. Let's see. Characters who, who are of the Chariot Arcana are typically very driven individuals who have a personal goal that they aim to achieve at any cost. It is not uncommon for Chariot characters to be short-tempered or aggressive. This is what the wiki is saying. The Chariot Arcana is a symbol of victory, conquest, self-assertion, self-confidence, control, war, and command. So yeah, that kind of fits Chie and uh, Chie to a T. It also fits Aegis pretty well as well. Even though Aegis' social link in Persona 3, at least in Persona 3 uh, FES and P Persona 3 Portable, was represented by a different Arcana. And now we're going to have another quiz, so I need to pull up the guide for... Uh... 
It's Mr. Kondo! Koji Kondo, possibly? Anyway. Don't be disappointed, I've spent some time overseas. I will never get out of this tracksuit. Cause I'm the gym teacher! You think gym teachers are more like accustomed to uh, history and stuff. At least that's how it was in my high school. Let's see. The answer to this is... Where does the word alphabet from? Beta. Number three. Good, that's correct. Gold star for you. Greek alphabet alpha and beta. Makes sense. So you can actually learn some pretty decent uh, random trivia from video games. Who says video games aren't good for anything? They improve your hand-eye coordination. They actually help you speak a lot better. Talk a lot better. I'm not proving a good case for that. The fog will come. We have to make sure we have to take action. We have to save uh, Yukiko before the fog sets in. And the game is kind of explaining all that. So, what Mr. Fabian Chang here is telling us to do is... I don't know what this is. I, I don't... Yo! Whenever... Will you go save Yukiko? Uh... We'll go later on. Yep. I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda hold off a little bit. Yeah, this guide on GameFAQs is actually a little confusing here and there, but I'm gonna see if I can decipher it a little bit, because it's very precise, I should say. And I might go ahead and forego a few things, because, okay, here's Quiz Boy. Funky student. Apparently, this guy has a lot of stuff to do with quizzes about either Inaba or... I accept your challenge, Mr. Afro Man. So now we're going with side quest. I don't think Funky Student has anything to deal with the main game. Well, no, he obviously has nothing for... I had no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Oh, uh, hang on. Third floor, question. I'll go with Group A. Oh yeah, so tell me what all of those items have in common. Give it to me, baby. Uh, they're the top six flag colors. Yay, yay, yo mind is beautiful thing. You better not be letting it go to waste, yo. Way to be. <laughs> the fact that this guy has a trophy named at, like that references him in uh, Persona 4 Ultimax or Persona 4 Arena. Uh, here's a little something, something, some chess keys for you, dog. Uh, let's see. Tap soda. What the hell? Compendium, bug catching kid. Oh, okay. I do know. Okay, we can actually go ahead and do a little bit of a social link right now. Yeah, he. What uh, Fabian here, or Cat FC is doing here, he actually has a few things. I don't know why you'd want to do for a new game plus if you're just going for a social link, Max, but. I'll follow it to a degree. Some of this has us reading books, and I'm not going to do that considering my character is, is maxed out, but I might do it later on. Let's go ahead and go to the bookstore. None of the books grab your interest. There's a poster! These books are the Lovely Man series. That actually will be... Oh, that's what it says. So back on... So let's go to the Velvet Room real quick. Because actually the social link starts here. At least that's what I'm getting off of this. What's up, Igor? Well then, I shall tell you about how I can offer my assistance. Alright, I'm not gonna do that. There's no way in hell I can possibly match up to Dan Warren. So, go ahead and just imagine that he's saying this. He's basically telling you how the whole persona thing goes works on. Check on the dwellers. Uh, listen to Marie's request. I wish, I don't know if I, it's not for now. Telling you wouldn't help any. It seems your relationship needs some sort of spark in order to deepen. Uh, listen to Margaret's request. Margaret actually has her social link, which is represented by an arcana. You're going at quite a clip. Create your world. Please do not forget this. Uh, utilize skill cards? Hang on. I know, I'm being a little weird about this right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy it. Yeah, I have a bunch of skill cards already. Just all of these. Alright, that's... So, even skill cards car carry over. I'm not gonna show the compendium because that might be... Oh, excuse me. I'm feeling a bit... Let's try going back in. Maybe that might spark something. Because he's definitely saying that... Oh, here we go. 
What you want this time? Persona skill card doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Just learn to restrain yourself. Dude. Huh? Okay, and that's part of Mar Marie's gimmick. She jumbles a bunch of words together to insult you because she's a Sundere character. I feel for you. <laughs> you are quite... Hey, Marie, I don't care. I like Margaret better. I don't care if she if Marie has that has the really cute socks and hat thing. But, you know, the Sundere thing, eh, that's not really my bag. I'm just going to say that flat out. I like confident women, women who don't have to be tied down. Marie and I are connected. Pretty much. I mean, it's the anime trope. Hell, they made an entire anime based on this character. Persona 4 Golden, the animation. Why they'd make a sequel animation to the previous one, which is just kind of a... Some, which is kind of just an abridged version of this entire game, I have no idea. But at least it looks pretty. <laughs> Marie is not a man. Yeah. Take her outside this room if you would. Do you catch my meaning? She's... Oh. So now we go on dates with Marie-chan. Oh, she's blushing. Is interested in leaving this place. Let's go ahead and check on the dwellers. Hey, Marie, do you got some for us? Huh? Right. Look, I'm sure you already know, but I want you to take me somewhere. It's small, it's dark, and the nose never says anything. Yeah, I was curious. You know, f for the last four Persona games, and I might have, and I mentioned this in the last video. Um, oh, well, let's go ahead and take Marie somewhere. Maybe we might have time to go ahead and save Yuki Go after this, or maybe not. Maybe this this entire social link thing will just take up the entirety of my uh, of this day. But that's fine. That's we still got plenty of time to go save uh, Yuki Go. Yeah, Igor has been very polite for the major for all four Persona games. But I'm curious if he'll actually be actively hostile to your character in Persona 5, given the trailer where it shows your where your character is shown to be behind bars. And then of course there's those two new Velvet Room siblings. Honestly, I kind of prefer Margaret, Elizabeth, and Theo a lot more uh, than their designs. But who knows, they might be kind of cool. Okay, let's see. Oh, we don't have to do, uh, nostalgic? Now, you see, in certain social links like this, generally, depending on what you say to the other character, it can either add more or some points, and it, there's even a possibility that you could reverse a social link and make it go down a level. Obviously, we want to get them all to level 10, which is the maximum level which unlocks ultimate personas. Now, some characters, like Marie here, don't always have to have uh, particular. To don't always have to have particular things said to them in order to progress through it. You can't eat without money. That is true. Want me to pay for it? But let's be nice and try to buy her some. Baby, we got infinite money. What's up? Getting your steak on? Cause you didn't buy me any steak, Yosuke. She's cute, dude. Trust me, you don't want that. You don't want none of this. Believe you me. <laughs> She's my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> she does have your eyes. What is this? <laughs> but I'm the sister King Penasteel. You can't fault me for saying that. <laughs> don't BS me when you know I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I'm his friend, his partner, you know. Okay, Yosuke, when you say the word pa okay, when you say the word partner out loud, people tend to think of a certain few things. You know, not that there's anything wrong with it. No, 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 not even getting in that one. Not even. Come on, Ivo. Let's go hang out. What a very European sounding name for a character who lives in Japan. Buy it for me? Is that okay? Uh, there's no reason to decline. 
He's pretty much the butt monkey of this game, so why not? I got a little extra in my last paycheck. I mean, my last girlfriend died, so hey, I'm up for going for a second one. It's cool with me. <laughs> I'm not lonely. <laughs> I'm the Saki Senpai. Said yes, okay? Always has huge portions. What do you think the local specialty? It's tough, hard to bite into, and it's got cold while I was still eating it. Wow, it was delicious. It was so good. Mmm, it's just so good. Hey. Oh. Here comes a little reference. It's t short for beefsteak. And here comes the reference to Heems Day. Huh. Fasteak. <laughs> what other words start with F, Chie? Fasteak? Excellent! <laughs> I don't know if the, uh... If the localization group actually saw the Heems Day comic, I hope they did, and that was a conscious choice. Mm. A conscious choice. Uh... You eat this every day? Oh, if only I could. If I could eat steak every day, that'd be a dream come true. Steak is delicious. It is just really expensive. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh. I left my key back in my locker work. Yosuke! Come on, man. Get your... Get it together, man. Your partner is a funny person. He's just my friend. That he is. No, I'm not gonna deny the shipping. Fine. They want to pair... You want to pair me and Yosuke together? Be my guest. I'll accept it. He calls me Ibo. You know what that means? It means we're like this. Like this. It's very pretty. This game looks very pretty. Even if the resolution is kind of stretched out a little bit on my PlayStation TV. I think it looks nice. Oh. It's, it's really green here. It's brown and darker green. Oh. These are green... And another one of Marie's little gimmicks is she writes poetry. That's a thing she does. Poetry. I said no. Well, you totally were. Now, whether the poetry is any good or not, that's up for interpretation to you, the viewer. This, however, is annoying. You just said it out loud. How am I snooping on you? Uh, anyway... So, yeah, this is kind of similar to another uh, social link brought up in Persona 3, where you t bring somebody who's not of the normal world and show her the beauty of nature and the beauty of what it means to be a regular person. I'll show you around. I'll show you around all the places. And that, in, and in case I haven't said it enough, that is reminiscent of the Igis uh, social link which actually is the same arcana as this one, which is the Aeon Social Link. It's not of the, you know, regular tarot card Social Link. It is some weird Egyptian one, kind of like Geb from uh, Jojo, or most of the Egyptian gods. And I am going to try to activate, and I'm going to try going onto the wiki to kind of see what Aeon means for story purposes. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Alright, where to now? <clears throat> Let me get my best speaking voice on. See ya. Unlike the o other Social Link Arcanum, the Aeon Arcana is not part of the standard tarot decks. It replaces the Judgment Arcana in Alistair's Thoth Tarot. Thoth is, uh, in Persona, it's a monkey that's reading a book. It's reading the Book of Life. Sneak out to town at night? Occasionally, whenever Dojima's out, you can totally go out at night and then just creep on all the girls and have all the dates. So let's go see what's in the fridge. Just half eaten cup of instant ramen. You left it alone. Uh, what Cat FAC, FC is telling me to do is go to Aya, which is the local ramen restaurant. So, for the sake of the guide, let's go ahead and indulge him. 
But since, again, I have maxed out all my social aspects for Narakami, there's really no real point to doing this, but I may as well show it off a little bit. But while I'm at it, let me go ahead and finish reading up on the Aeon Arcana. And I know I'm getting close to the mic, and I apologize. Alright, Aya is the perfect way... Yeah, you can basically raise all of your uh, social link aspects by just taking part in the ultimate... Uh, in the, oh, friggin' uh, meat bowl surprise or whatever the hell it is. Mabo Tofu Combo. Eventually there's like a rainy day beef bowl. But he's just, this just boosts up our courage. Not that we really needed it. We'll just pay him 800 yen. Alright, anyway, Ar Aeon Arcana. Right, 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 right. Oh, and this guy right here, he's actually referencing that his daughter goes to, uh, goes to uh, Yasogami High. And she actually shows up in the Persona for the animation, where she's a recurring joke character. Alright, Personas of the Aeon Arcana are often divine mythological figures. Oh, Margaret's going to tell us more about social links. Typically they have varying abilities and attributes, though many of them have an affinity with light. A common theme for characters representing the Aeon Arcana is their attempts to fully understand themselves, as well as the world around them. And in both the Aeon Arcana's appearances, the social link characters in question were unfamiliar with the real ways with the way the real world works, and struggled to discover their own place in this unfamiliar world. By all means, we encourage and support you in regards to this matter. Anyway. But to proceed too hastily in that quest will mean facing one battle after the next. She's basically saying, hey, why not mix more social links with people in the world? The bonds created through social links are another important means of strengthening the powers of your persona. So, hey, go, go make more social links. Go do it. Go do it. I guess it's going to take a little while before we actually go save Yukiko. This might be a more social link heavy episode. We'll see. So this one is actually going to introduce us to another Arcana. One of... Well, we'll talk about that later. And actually, there's the two members of the Arcana right now. That is... Uh, Sho and Daisuke, I believe. I believe... Well, the guy in the tracksuit is Daisuke. He belongs to the soccer team. And I believe the guy in, with the blue hair, his name is Sho. I believe it's Sho. We might find out later. He belongs to the basketball team. And they're both representatives of the Strength Arcana, which I will get into in but a moment. And I know that sounds like a bit of a spoiler, but we're going to be seeing it in just a second. So let me go ahead and open up the page for Strength so I can kind of get... Give you the wiki's description on it. And the Strength Arcana was actually represented by a party member in Persona 3. Oh, but also, they just mentioned the manager of the sports team. Of the uh, sports team. And she is actually a representative of another Arcana. So, so many Arcanas in such a sh small little place. Alright, so the Strength Arcana, which was represented by Koromaru, the dog the albino Shiba Inu in Persona 3. You recall being told you could join a sports club on the first floor classroom building. Okay, so now we gotta go down to the first floor to go join a sports club. Uh, let's see. Faculty office. Nurse's office. That's not what we want. Faculty office. Go inside and ask about clubs. And guess who we had to talk to? Moroka. Oh boy. Hi, Kirk Thornton. Yes, I'd like to join a- Oh no! I know you're really out. You're just trawling for girls, aren't you? Admit it! Less than a club is supposed to be. For some reason, you find <laughs> Moroka's kind of a dick. Sports club. Trying to break a useful sweat, are you? Soccer or the basketball club? Honestly, in my own... They don't mean our rainy days. They just kind of gave it. All right, but we're following Cad F FC's guide. Let's go sports club. Oh, right. 
we had to go all the way down to the end of the hallway to uh, join a sports club. Okay, so personally, I don't really care for either sport. I guess I kind of watch basketball a lot, but for the purpose of this guide, I'm kind of following CAD FCs, and I'm going to change one Arcana because there is one I want to stick. There is one group I want to join. So let's go ahead and go to... Come to think of it, you recall Igor's words. So we have to choose between basketball or soccer. Uh, I kind of like basketball a little bit better, but I like the social link in this game with soccer better. A little bit better. Even though basketball has a really good line. But I'm pretty sure if you watch the Heems Day comic uh, video on YouTube, you would pretty much know what that is. So there's no point in, you know, showing that off. Dude, you gotta stop polishing those balls. I can't stop, man. These balls are on fire. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. You know what I like? Balls. I love them balls. <laughs> Look at him, city slicker. Who the hell th call says city slicker? You were just a bunch of hicks to him. Okay. Uh, let's be nice. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, you... Okay. Okay. Okay, you dicks. I'm gonna show you how freaking awesome I am at soccer. I'm gonna kick the ball all over the field. And sc score all the touchdowns. Then you'll be sorry. The first uh, day of social... Hey, oh, that's Daisuke. He's pretty much the only nice guy on the team. I'm he likes soccer. Yep. He's the only nice game. Game. character. In oh, a no, wait. Aw, oh, damn. I kept calling him Sho. His name is Ko. Ko Ichijo. Dang it. I can't believe I forgot that. I must be thinking about Sho Minazuki from uh, Persona 4 Ultimax. I'm sorry, you guys. I was saying Sho for the longest time. My apologies. His name is Ko Ichijo. Right. Sorry. Again. So, let me go ahead and explain what the Strength Arcana is, just so I can... Koichijo. Yep, he's the MVP of the basketball team. His social link is a bit... Uh, complicated. And kind of... a little depressing here and there. Dice Gaze is a little hard too, but... Mm, yeah. Stop calling him that. Don't be a dick, Ko. Jesus. I'm from the country myself. I'm from frickin' Louisiana. That's about as country as you can get, but I don't think I'd ever... But, you know, it's not like I'm stuck in the boonies or whatever. I'm kind of a city boy, maybe. Okay, portrayed as a young woman holding up a terrifying beast. Plenty. Sure, totally. More <laughs> often, a lion. The strength arcana symbolizes an imagery beyond beast and beauty and is associated with the morality about the stronger power of self-control, gentleness, courage, and virtue over brute force. A little ironic considering it's called strength, but whatever. In tarot readings, it can also represent creative or physical energy that needs to be or is ab about to be unleashed, sometimes at a desire to be recognized. Gameplay-wise, the personas of the Strength Arcana are commonly personas excelling in physical attributes, Archetypes embodied by the Arcana Strength Arcana personas are warrior figures and heroes, or are figures that embody strength or a body or character. A commonality between characters of Strength Arcana is their strength of heart. Strength characters are not upset easily and typically portray the fortitude that the Strength card represents in readings. In JoJo, strength is represented by a monkey, called Forever. Its stand was a boat. So, and I guess that kind of works, considering Koromaru Let's is a dog who can call up a persona. So, go figure. Uh, there were no members for, well, hang on. And apparently, in Persona 3, there was one who, there was another sports club manager. Although, I don't really remember that character. Maybe that was just for Persona... Maybe that was just for the female route. Anyway, let's see what Cat FC's guide says here. I know, I'm clicking on and off of my... It wants us to go to Aya again. So let's not go ahead and do that. Uh, 
Oh, right. And Thoth, if I didn't mention that before, was represented by one of the uh, Oingo Boingo brothers. I forget which one. I want to say it was Boingo. I want to say it was Boingo, the little, the younger brother who carried the book. Because that book was actually called Thoth. Yosuke were wearing luchador mask and wrestling. Oh, I love that dream. Okay. Let's talk about the other Arcanas since we're... And this one, actually, today is the 20th. Yo. We can actually buy a few of those books that were in the bookstore. Hey, I wanted to ask you. You know how we can enter the TVs now? Never tried sticking your hand in when the TV's on? Tell him you tried that. <laughs> no wonder you're our leader. Well, I mean, if you can stick your hand in the TV... There's probably a few things that you'd want to stick your hand in for, maybe. I don't know. That probably doesn't make much sense. But, according to Cat FC, Mr. Fa- I'm just gonna call him Fabian. I'm just gonna call him Chang or Mr. Chang or whatever. I'll, I'll pick one. Today's social link is with Yosuke. So we can actually hang out with Yosuke for a little bit. But we can also buy some of those books, like I said before. Oh, then there's this guy. Yeah, we have a variety of teachers who pop in and out who give us random quizzes. This guy, Mr. Hosoi, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, he has a puppet that looks exactly like him. And he has swirly glasses. Yeah, I, oh, and occasionally, sometimes they won't call directly on us. They'll call on one of our, on one of our uh, part teammates, and by this used to happen with Jinpei all the time. And depending on your answer, this might also increase your uh, relationship with that teammate. There you go. So if you answer correctly, not only do you gain a social link aspect for yourself, but you also gain abilities to kind of grow closer with your teammates. And since Yosuke is not in the same little corner that he is, he's somewhere where we can do social links. Sometimes your partners will be all around the uh, school, or they'll be around town. Now, they usually have their certain little areas that they like to stand in. If it's, a, if it's a school day, they'll pop in at certain areas, like here. Yosuke hangs out in the classroom building second yep. floor area. But before we go ahead and... We're going to go talk to Yosuke. I just forgot. We need to go into town and buy the books. We're going to come back and do that. But since we are going to be doing the Magician Arcana, I should probably talk about the Magician Arcana itself. Like I mentioned before, and I might have... Oh, and Marie wants to talk to us too. Yeah, we're not doing that. So we're going to go ahead and buy the... We're going to buy all the books. We're going to buy the lovely man. Expert study methods. We got tons of cash. And there's a little cute little bunny in the corner. He's reading a little book. He's trying to expand his mind. You can do it, little bunny. I have faith in you. Let's go to Yasugami High. <clears throat> Actually, I was incorrect, and I hope I didn't give anybody the wrong inclination, like the members of the Magician Arcana are always men who deal with problems with women, because that's not entirely true. Oh, shoot. I gotta do this again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know, I keep... I keep forgetting... There's another thing I gotta do. Also, there's another thing I have to make sure of before I start a social link. You go to the Velvet Room. And you gotta get a particular persona that relates to that social link. Because if you do, then the persona helps strengthen the uh, bond with your party member or with that social link representative a lot better. So, we have a bunch of them. So, let's go ahead and show off Mada. Mada is the ultimate persona of the Magician Arcana. This is the reward for maxing out Yosuke's social link. You get him from getting all the way to, max to level 10. But since we have a persona of the Magician Arcana, and now if we go talk to Yosuke, our relationship with him will be even stronger. And let me get back on point. There is actually, in Persona 1, the character Yuka Ayase, who is a very plucky, blonde girl that you meet, and a possible party member for Persona 1. In that game, you Yo. you don't get to hang out with all the 
you don't get an entire team, you have to choose who your last party member is. You're stuck with a few of them, but then you have to pick which one you want by doing certain events or by turning other people down. So, with that being said, uh, in Persona 3, the social link portion was represented by a character named Kenji Tomochika. Now, his whole social link revolved around him having a fixation on one of his teachers who he thought was really attractive. And he realized she was married and he kind of wanted her to break it off and it's kind of weird. You know. This social link is probably going to focus mostly around Junpei, uh, not Junpei, Yosuke getting shit talks behind his back. Like a lot. Either because of Juness or whatever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and say it must be tough. Nah, it's not really. You gotta sympathize with them. You can't just kiss their ass all the time, but you do have to sympathize with your teammates occasionally. Sometimes they don't go for that, sometimes they do. It's, you have to be able to read more into these social links a lot better. So now we got rank 2. So now if we go ahead and fuse any personas of the Magician Arcana, they'll get a little bit more experience. Yosuke also gets Tafuri, which is a confusion spell that uh, I never use. So, but it's a nice little bonus. Okay. Still, so this croquet is damn good. Aw, oh, steak croquet sounds awesome right now. Anyway. In tarot readings, the Magician Arcana is commonly associated with action, initiative, self-confidence, manipulation, and power. More specifically, the power to harness one's talents. Personas of the Magician Arcana are commonly... Hang on, one second. What does he want us to do right now? He wants us to go read a book, which will kind of teach us how to... And we can go read books on our couch. We can also do a few other things on the couch. And occasionally, books have a lot of chapters. Now, depending on uh, now depending on a few things, you might be able to speed read them. Like if you take the day out, you can get through a book really fast. <clears throat> personas of the Magician Arcana are commonly personas excelling toward magic, particularly toward fire-based elements. As the name suggests, mythological figures associated oh. with the Magician Arcana are often associated with magic themselves. Though some are fire deities rather than magicians. Kind of similar to Muhammad Abdal, whose Magician's Red was very predominantly consumed, was very predominantly associated with fire. Like Crossfire Hurricane. Characters of Magician Arcana as, as a Persona 3, typically the first male friend and social link of the protagonist, are typically perverted male characters. And now we have sessions like this, where characters will say, hey, do you want to go hang out? And if you accept that at that time, then you'll definitely be kind of locked in. Or occasionally they'll just say, hey, maybe you should go do this. So, what does it want us to do? It wants us to go actually do the Strength Arcana. So, I probably should have gotten my Strength Arcana a lot earlier. Uh, and apparently we're going to have another Arcana, another Persona that pops up later of another Arcana. And I'll talk about that one a little later. I know, I'm juggling through a bunch of shit. Uh, where was I? Uh, they are often the right-hand man of the, of the protagonist. So let's go ahead and get our Strength Arcana Persona. We'll see all these Personas much later, when I show it off in the bonus video. So, what we're going to do is... Actually, let's go back and get a Chariot Persona just to be safe. We're going to show off Futunushi. Futsunushi. I had probably butchered that name. Again, these are just for social link stuff. Unless you want me to actually use... Unless anybody wants me to actually use one of these in combat, then please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to be sticking with Izanagi. I just like getting the ultimate ones because it makes me feel cooler. And I also have tons of cash to spare. Uh, bup, 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 tower, star, moon, so, okay, here, sun, we're gonna need the sun, Arcana, Asura, I just like having really cool personas in my deck, 
And I got tons of cash to work with, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. The only exception to this is Yuka Ayase, the female magician character from Megami Ibunk Ibunroku pers Persona. An ongoing theme related to all magician arcana social links. Let's go back and do the so strength social link. Is the tragedy that befalls the social link character related to their romantic interest. Junpei's romantic interest, Yosuke's romantic interest, and, uh, you know, stuff like that. We have Zhao Gongen, which is the ultimate persona of the Strength Arcana. So, that should help us grow strong, grow uh, closer with Daisuke. And it generally starts with this. And by doing your uh, sports club practice, you gain more diligence. And also your teammates, besides Daisuke and Ko, are utter shits. But... Eh... You got it. I'm checking the guide. Because these guys are such shitlords. And Daisuke is kind of like, what the f What's with those guys? They're assholes. Everybody's supposed to take turns. God. Hey. And if you pl if you chose Ko's social link, Daisuke would be the one who'd kind of just pop in to kind of say, "Hey, this, this, that." <sighs> How predictable. God, our teammates are such assholes. You think so? Is this guy voiced by JB Blank too? Because actually, in a uh... In the animated series, Daisuke was voiced by David Vincent. Now, uh, if you actually watch my da uh, fighting with my dad right, when we played Blaze Blue, he actually played Jin Kisaragi. But you might also know him as the voice of Senketsu from Kill la Kill. He's done a lot of voiceover work and stuff like that. He's actually also the vo the main voice for Robin in Smash Bros. and Fire Emblem Awakening, at least the initial male voice. So. You know, thanks for the help. <laughs> Daisuke's being a cool guy, and so is Ko. These guys are some awesome dudes. They're bros. They're cool guys. And with that, the Strength Social Link upgrades again. While it doesn't exactly... While they don't obviously are not party members of our group, it's still nice that we might be able to make stronger personas. Even though we have ultimate personas right off the bat. And then we get to go eat. So, while we're at it, why don't I go ahead and go over uh, the other two Arcanas that I have yet to go over. And I think I might have bookmarked another one later. I'm gonna just let them talk and let you read them, read what they're saying. It's kinda like, they're kinda just going over their old past sports instances. And it's kinda weird to see Ko in a, in a school uniform as opposed to his uh, workout shirt and pant and basketball shorts. Anyway. <clears throat> so, since we're actually working on our way to save Yukiko, Yukiko is actually, and actually, during all this, uh, for the both versions of the video, I'll probably just put this down in the description in case you guys want to read this right. and not want to hear me. And people for, and for people who are just watching the no commentary version, this might be a little in, bit of an interesting read. I'm kind of just... Speaking it verbatim from uh, the wiki site, from the Megami Tensai wiki site, but still, I, I think this is kind of cool. <clears throat> okay, let's put some fight into this. This is for the Priestess Arcana. This was uh, represented by. This is represented by. Uh, oh, who is it? Welcome. By Yukiko in this game, but it was also in Persona One. It was represented by a girl named Maki Sonomura who is the main female protagonist in that game. Which is kind of a... which... I guess it kind of works. In Persona 3, however, it is represented by Fuka Yamagishi, who is a very, very shy girl, who is also your navigator character. Are you bit? Sometimes your teammates will want to say, hey, do you want to hang out tomorrow? Or hey, maybe we should go save that person right away. It just kind of lets you know about your deadline. Let's go ahead and read our fishing book. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and see what this has to do. Uh, originally named the Popes, 
portrayed as an old woman with an open book. The priestess arcana is a symbol of hidden knowledge or other untapped power, wisdom, female mystery, and patience when it appears in tarot readings. Gameplay-wise, the personas of priestess arcanas are commonly associated with healing and support attributes. Kind of gives you a hint on Yukiko. Mythological figures of the priestess arcanas are usually crone archetypes, goddess of wisdom, or priestess figures themselves. Individuals associated with the priestess arcana are usually quiet, reserved, and very intelligent. They are often modest and shy, and won't, won't open up to the protagonist until much later in their social links, as compared with other characters. It kind of fits. Both Yukiko and Fuka are very, very shy characters. Maki herself is kind of a shy character to my remembrance. I'm not entirely certain. It's been a while since I played Persona 1. I sleep well every night. Anyway, um, in JoJo, this was represented by, I believe, the character Midler. Actually, let me look that up. JoJo Priestess. Hi, Priestess. Yep, it was portrayed by the character Midler. Who was a ver was a female character, but whose person, but whose stand focused on manipulating things, and it was also the female character who got her teeth knocked out by Star Platinum. So not a very good end for that character. Uh, <laughs> her teeth were like diamonds, but JoJo, jo but Jotaro just punched them out. Let's go ahead and talk to Yosuke again. Let's get this magician arcana a rolling. Since Yosuke is going to be one of our major partners and one of the major characters who hangs out with us for the majority of the game, probably be a good idea to get him up and running. Especially for the Yukiko fight. Since we're probably going to have to fight her shadow form. The movie, uh, there are occasional times, this Okina City, you can't, you couldn't come here originally in, uh, in the vanilla version, but here in the Golden Edition, you actually can come here. That will happen a little bit later through certain means. And actually, you can go see movies to go strengthen your... Uh... Oh, I might have tugged on the mic a pinch. Sorry. You're looking hairier. Foam is... The foam my facial soap this morning had. <laughs> We're just busting Yosuke's balls. Uh... Yosuke's a busy dude. He's got lots of stuff to do. Oh, more spam. Want to enlarge your persona? Check this out. Pe doctors hate it. Uh, eh, what can you do? I get those all the time. Mm. Not that I need them, am I right? I don't want to change your asses, so... Yeah. We're kind of just helping Yosuke pick up the pieces of his shattered dreams. Uh, and since we may as we may as well go ahead and talk about our uh, arcana that we represent ourselves as the protagonist. We are represented by the Fool Arcana, and to my knowledge, there that was a very rare fusion in the Persona One. At least that's what the wiki is saying. But let's go ahead and talk about it. Portrayed as a jester, laughing very close to a cliff, accompanied with a dog. Which is pretty, uh, significant, considering in JoJo, the representative of the Fool Arcana is Iggy, who is a dog who can use a stand. Similar to Kuromaru. Hmm. I didn't read that all the way. I apologize. I'm, I'm too, I I'm getting a little sucked in for uh, the wiki right, thing. I apologize. Uh, the fool represents innocence, divine inspiration, madness, freedom, spontaneity, inexperience, chaos, and creativity. Let's go ahead and check the fridge. All right, let's go finish our fishing book. The Arcana is originally the only one that doesn't have a number. It's zero, so it's empty, but also infinite in possibility. 
Thus, it is considered the arcana number zero, or the number 22. As such, the silent protagonists from the recent adaptations often start out with the full arcana, in reference to their personalities being shaped via the player's actions and decisions. At the end of Persona 3 and 4, the protagonists are given a persona. Whoop, can't talk about that. It's basically representative of the journey that the characters take. Uh, the full arcana tends to be the jack-of-all-trades, since his personas can inherit all skills without preferences for any types. Mythological figures of the full arcana are often heroes. Fools are protagonists of their own mythological stories. And now we're talking about making doing part-time jobs. And not that we really need that much money, but now we can actually, you know, start and doing other social links. That's cheating. I wish I was born into a rich family. Hey, I just inherited money from my pr from my past five lives. Or was it eight? I'm not entirely certain. Oh. Keep an eye on that girl. She's important for another arcana later. Who is she, though? Well, I guess we'll find out later. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's time for Miss Sofu's quiz. Among them, tulips from Turkey deserve special attention. We're talking about flowers. I don't get it. Mr. Hanamura, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> what? What's she talking about? Tulip mania, you fool. Hmm, so you actually were listening. Yes, it was tulip mania. My god. Were tulips real? Whoa. That snot bubble of yours burst, or you may also be thrown into confusion. Uh... He never does, though, but he does appreciate that we pulled his ass out of the fire. Our expression also increased. That expression kind of governs how... Uh, how well you put up a decent uh, front, or how well you say something. Since today, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and actually go into town and look at that bulletin board for uh, job listings, shall we? So over here in the town bulletin board, you can actually pick up several job listings. Now, I do know for a fact, let's see, envelope constructor, let's take this job, let's just take all the jobs, translator, take this job, yes, take all the jobs, origami crane folder, that actually came to play for the animation as well, I know I keep referencing I know I keep referencing a lot of the, the animation, but it actually does. Oh, but assistant daycare take, caretaker. That actually is a social link. That represents another arcana, and there are none others. But eventually there will be in those coming soon areas. And those other th th and a few of those will relate to more arcanas. And I'm stuck on these gentlemen. And now, if we want to go take a job, we come here to the bus stop. And we can go ahead and go do the, day the daycare uh, caretaker thing. And this will start up the social link for... And now we do what might possibly be one of my... A job that I would really never want to do. Well, it depends, kid. Who's, who's asking? Don't ask him that, you creep. I can have as many girlfriends as I like, kid. Because I'm the protagonist. The little kid in the blue shirt is very important for this particular social link. He's more or less the catalyst of it. Aw, oh, but it kind of sucks that he's the last one left. Yuta is his name. This young lady right here oh, you is is actually the social link 
is actually the social link. Yeah! Look at him with his stupid run. Thanks for taking care of him. She is actually the social link. Uh, I forget what her name is. But yeah, she's Yuta's stepmother. So, kids and their step-parents are kind of... Especially at that age, might be a little bit... Mmm... Meh. Nah. They're probably not on the best terms at the moment. But hey, we got some... We got a little bit of cash. So... I think that will do it for this particular episode. This was a pretty long one. Uh, eventually, Nanako might actually become a social link. Later, not now. So, yeah, this was a social link heavy episode. Uh, maybe in the next episode, we might actually make some more progress at Yukiko's castle. Let's go ahead and save in the next save file. All right. So, until then, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, thanks. I'll, we'll see what happens on the next episode.